So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this pen that I've been using for the past few months. It's called the Bow Pen. That's B-A-U-X, like faux. And uh, it doesn't have a model. It's just the Bow Pen. And what the company does is they make metal exteriors for Bic refills. So if you really like the Bic crystal or the Bic round stick or something like that, but you don't uh, want to use the plastic body that comes with them, then you can get the refill and put it in a bow body. Uh, this is the pen. I've fully customized it and made it exactly what I wanted. And the bow pen, when you order it, there's a couple different options. You can change the color of the body, which I, or the barrel, whatever you wanna call it. I believe that's aluminum. You could change the material of the grip. In this case, I bought titanium. You could have also purchased it in aluminum, in which case I think you can tweak the color, or uh, at some point they sold it in brass. I'm not sure if they still do. And then you can change the color of the cap. And then uh, you can get printing on it here. I didn't get any printing, which is uh, really nice. The option, they offer a no print option. So these pens, they sell for, I don't know, I want to say like this one cost me, I wrote it down, $11.00. Uh, $11.50 and it was about four or so dollar shipping. Shipping is probably going to be very based on where you are. And the pen will, I think entry level price is about $9 for full aluminum. But if you upgrade the, to the titanium grip, it goes to $11 or something like that. Uh, but basically expect to spend about $15 on these pens. Okay, so let's start to get a little bit more deep into it. The refill is the refill from the Bic Crystal, the Bic Round Stick, whatever. They're like pretty much the same thing. And it has a tighter fit than you'd expect. With a crystal, you could just kind of pull it out. But this is a Bic Crystal refill. This came with the standard refill, which is a 1.0 millimeter. You could probably tell from the width here that I flipped it out and I put in a 1.6 millimeter Bic Crystal refill. I, those are the ones I really like. This part right here, you can choose the color of that. This is not something that Bo makes. They just use the actual Bic piece from the round stick. This piece is in there really tight, which is nice. The cap, as you noticed, is not a custom cap. It's just the standard Bic round stick cap. In this case, again, I went all gray. So uh, I got a gray refill. And uh, I don't know, just a standard refill, which is nice. If you lose it, it's easy to replace. But the fit is uh, fits pretty good. You know, it actually fits a little tight sometimes, but I've been quite happy with the fit. So even though the pen body was custom made and you're using stock components, they fit really well. So it was clearly made with these this refill and this cap in mind, which is quite nice. Okay, so the body of the pen, I believe it's powder coated aluminum. It is slightly slippery, clearly textured, but the texture I think is from the, the paint. It's hard to it's hard to tell, but that's my guess is from the paint. Having some focus issues clearly, but bear with me. So the body is aluminum, has a little breather hole here. I think that's legally supposed to be there in case someone were to swallow this. I think it's technically two parts, but this top piece doesn't come out. There's an area here, uh, area here at the top for posting it, which makes sense. This means you get a little bit extra width in the body, but the cap can uh, post on top still. Basically, these pens are on the thin side, so if you made the whole pen this width, it would be a little bit uncomfortable. So you need this. Uh, this step down here so that the cap can fit the body. So it makes a lot of sense. The, again, the body's nice. I got it in this uh, color. I don't know what it was. It's not black. It might look black on the video, but it's kind of like an olive drab, kind of like a platinum, depending on the light you do. I think it's probably a gray or a platinum. I think I ordered everything gray, but uh, in some lights, it looks a little bit greenish. Moving on to the grip. I haven't used the stock grip. I, you know, it was an extra $2 for a machined titanium grip, which seemed like a, a pretty nice pickup to me. 
This is uh, a very nice grip. I like it a lot. It has not knurling, but it has these uh, ridges kind of machined into it. Nice and lightweight. The pen overall is 15 grams. If you get the all aluminum version with the aluminum grip, uh, sorry, the pen overall is uh, 17 grams. If you get the all aluminum version with the aluminum grip, then it's 15 grams. This piece does unscrew. So now we can see the very long threading, no spring in here. There is the aluminum, this is all aluminum here. Again, there's no extra components, no spring, nothing to make any noise. And then here is that really long extended threading in the titanium grip, which is a uh, very well done. This isn't a spiral. It was a cut, 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 not like one spiral cut all the way up, like kind of like this, that uh, you would see on a, you know, like Fisher does that sometimes where it actually looks like it's individual cuts, but it's actually a spiral. It goes all the way over the pen. It's quite cool. Again, there's that threading there really nicely done quite long. I think this pen will be, uh, I doubt it'll loosen up, even though you have a titanium on aluminum contact and like titanium, I, I'm not like a metallurgist, but I believe it's known as a slippery metal. I think by doing that extra threading, even though it's going to this aluminum, it'll, uh, it'll stay nice and tight. I haven't had any, I haven't had any problems with this pen loosening up. And again, there's a match here between a stock piece of plastic and a piece of titanium and that was really slammed in there. So I don't know if they glued it in there or what, but it's in there nice and tight. And then this piece was in there tight as well. Even though I changed the refill, I think I had to do it with a pair of pliers or something to pull it in. So the fit and finish on this is quite nice. The company has really gone through some, some pains to machine all the parts and make all the parts to be just right for what they have. Like right here, you can see it's a little loose, uh, like I'll really drive it home and it feels good now. I'm, I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. Again, you could put a little piece of ta tape or something like that in there and it would really seal it shut. Like if you used a plumber's tape or something, it would probably be too tight, but it would definitely, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't loosen up. Nice fit on the cap, no problems there. And then nice fit on the top. Again, the cap is, it, it would be really hard to machine a metal cap or come up with some sort of custom solution. So I completely understand why it is this, but uh, again, the cap's not particularly fancy and it's gonna get worn out over time. So I went with that 1.6 millimeter refill. Gives you nice, bold lines, very broad, smooth. Still lasts for a long time, not as quite as long as the, uh, you know, the smaller ones, the 1.0 or whatever, but I really do prefer the, the 1.6. And this is the B-A-U-X, the bow. So before we wrap up, I did want to do a quick comparison between the bow pen and this. This is the Bic Crystal Renew. I think Bic has been making the crystal since the, I forget, I forget if it's the late 50s or early 60s, but they've been making the crystal for a long time. I doubt the company was shocked to learn that some people really like the refill, but they wanted a metal body. And that's what the Bic Crystal Renew is. They got that standard crystal body, which I think a lot of people really like. I, I per, uh, personally, I do like it a lot. Uh, they have that nice hexagonal shape and they made it metal. They use the same refill. And the only real change to the pen is they put this little piece here that if you want to change the refill, this is designed to be a refillable pen. Finally, you just pop it out with this little slider mechanism here, change the refill and put it back. Refill's a little bit loose, so you actually don't need the slider, but whatever. The reef, the refill, the cap on the Bic Crystal Renew is a standard Bic Crystal cap, but it matches it. So it's not metal. It looks metal, maybe. I think Bic hopes it looks metal, but it's just a standard Bic Crystal cap in plastic. The fit is pretty good. It doesn't, it kind of goes on and it stops. It doesn't slide on and get tighter as you go, but it is quite secure. So the Bic Crystal Renew, I think it's finally possible to be found. Like you could find it online and Amazon, places like that in the US and Canada and so forth. It's been available in Europe for over a year now, maybe two years, hard to say. But the Crystal Renew is, sells for about six or $7 online. The bow pen is again about 
between 11 and 15, depending on the options. So uh, both are nice options. Obviously the bow is, one of the reasons you're buying it is that it's fully customizable. If you want some, you know, a crazy neon green paint or purple paint and uh, you know, all sorts of uh, maybe a, your name or something, I think to do custom printing on, or you could have the bow logo printed on. So if you really want to customize the pen, then obviously the bow is a nice pick. I kept mine really low key. It's just kind of like how I like my stuff. And so it's a much closer comparison, the all silver of the Crystal new, Renew versus the all gray of the bow. Uh, between the two, I think the bow is a nice pen, but actually I prefer the Crystal Renew. I really like the hexagonal crystal body. It's a very simple pen. I like that it's simple. The uh, The weight is almost the same. The Crystal Renew weighs, I just checked it. I think I wrote down, yeah, it weighs 14.8 grams. And the titanium gripped bow is 15 grams. So the, they're kind of right on the money there, which is a nice, a nice weight, 15 grams. And then uh, this cap, sometimes it's a little tight on there. I find that to be a little annoying. I never post it, so I don't really need this uh, step down. And actually, aesthetically, I don't know, kind of bothers me a little bit. I don't know. I like. I really like that a that companies are out there using the Bic parts and making a pen with it. It's a really great concept. And I do like the pen. I've been using it for I don't know, maybe two or three months now ahead of uh, doing this video review. Uh, and it's a good pen. I recommend it. I think $15 is a very fair price for it, especially considering it's got a, uh, a hunk of titanium there. Day-to-day, -day, I actually prefer the Crystal Renew. I just like the body better, and I like the hexagonal over the uh, the titanium grip here. You know, with this little step here and those little interruptions, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's not at all bad, but I like the Crystal Renew, and you could get two of these for the price of the bow. It just kind of, I would say... The Crystal Renew is probably not quite as special. The Crystal Renew does come with a couple refills, which is nice, but honestly, these refills last so long and uh, it's like the pens are readily available so I could get another refill without too much problem. So that's nice, but it doesn't make a big difference. The Bic one does have a little low key logo on it, which I really like that this bow, one of my favorite features is that it's a pretty cool color here. It's got the titanium and then again, completely logo free, which, uh, which, I, nice, which I really like. I think the pen looks a little bit disjointed, kind of looks like a transformer that a bunch of different parts were slammed together. Uh, some of that's my fault, I could have got a matching grip, but uh, that's just kind of how it shook out. So yeah, really like this bow pen and I would definitely recommend it. If it's uh, between the bow and the Crystal Renew, I'd say stick with the Crystal Renew, save a couple bucks and it is, uh, I don't know, I just really like this pen. So there you go, thanks for watching.